In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the t-statistic and the test between the means of different groups. For example, if you have an experimental group and a control group. I'm going to show you how to set up the hypothesis test and the equation that we will use. I'm going to use an example with numbers and step you through each of the calculations. And also, I will show you how to either reject or accept the null hypothesis. So the very first thing we do is set up the null hypothesis, and we make the assumption that the control group and the experimental group are the same, that there's no difference. Typically, it's indicated by H0. It's always useful to draw a bell curve, and the red area are the rejection regions. I'm going to do a two-tail test. I typically always recommend doing a two-tail test. Ultimately, I will compare the mean of the control group with the mean of the experiment group to see how far away they are different. And then we want to see how far away the mean is from the control group, the mean of the experimental group, that is. And of course, the way we do this is by doing a t-statistic. and we'll compute that. And when we compute the t-statistic, we'll see whether it's in the gray area or the red area. If it's in the red area, we reject. Either way, we reject, upper or lower bound. And if it falls in the gray area, the area there, we will fail to reject the null hypothesis. Imagine we have group A and group B. Group B is our control group. We calculate the mean, the sample size or number of participants, and the standard deviation for both the control group and group A, which is our experimental group. We take group A minus group B, the means, so the experiment group minus the control group, the means of, divided by the square root of n, the sample size of the experiment group, minus 1 times the standard deviation squared plus the number of participants or the sample size of the control group, minus 1 times the standard deviation squared divided by n plus n, the two sample sizes, minus 2, times n plus n divided by n times n. This can be a really intimidating looking equation, but in a second I'm going to put numbers in, and it shouldn't be so confusing hopefully afterwards putting brackets in just so you can see the difference between what I'm going to multiply. So now I have a hormone treatment I'm going to give to rats. And I also have a placebo to give to the other rats. So now I will calculate the mean, the standard deviation, and I know the number of participants. The mean is 7.8, standard deviation is 2.15, and there's 10 participants. I do the same for the placebo group. The mean is 5.10, standard deviation 1.66, and there's 10 participants. I'm going to take these numbers and plug and chug, which is easier said than done. There's a lot of steps. I'm going to do them one at a time. So I take the mean of the hormone group minus the control group, the mean of the control group, which is 5.10 divided by the square root of n, which is 10, minus 1, times 7.8 squared. And again, that's the standard deviation squared, and that's the number of participants. plus 
the, the size of the sample size of the control group minus 1 times the standard deviation of the control group, which is 1.66 squared. Divide all this by. I take the number of participants in both samples, add them together, and subtract 2 times the two sample sizes added together divided by the two sample sizes times each other. In this case, the sample sizes are the same size, which makes it easy. Now I have all the numbers in the right spot, and now I'm going to go step by step and make some calculations for you, and I will do them step at a time. And I'll follow this pattern. First I'll do that one, then that one, then I'll multiply those two together, figure that, and then finally that last one there. So 7.8 minus 5.10 is 2.7 divided by, and I'll put the square root sign in, and I'll do 10 plus 10 is 20 divided by 10 times 10, which is 100. Then I'll make the division sign. 10 plus 10 minus 2 is 18. Then 10 minus 1 is 9 times 4.62 plus 9 times 2.76. 9 times 4.62 is equal to 41.6 plus 9 times 2.76, which is equal to 24.9. I'm going to continue on with my calculation over here. I'm going to work straight down. Now I have 2.7 divided by the square root of 66.5. Five, which is 41.6 plus 24.9 divided by 18 times 0 0.20, which is just 20 divided by 100. Now we have t is equal to 2.7 divided by the square root of 66.5 divided by 18, which is 3.69 times 0.20 which is equal to 2.7 divided by 0.7389. Now I'm running out of space. Let me move this over here. So this is equal to 2.7 divided by 0.859, which is equal to 3.14. Our T statistic is equal to 3.14. T is equal to 3.14. Both the sample sizes are equal to 10. The degrees of freedom are 18, which is the two sample sizes minus 2 in this case. My test is at a 95% confidence level, and I'm doing a two-tail test. Bell curve, I have my rejection regions are in red here. These are my two rejection regions. And what I need to find out is the critical values, these little question marks. And the way you do that is you look in the back of a statistics book and you look up those values based upon these parameters. Across the top of the table, you have confidence levels, or sometimes it'd be written as 0 0.1, 0 0.05, 0 0.01. And then down the side, you'll have degrees of freedom, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on and so forth. And then you'll have values in a table. And we need degrees of freedom of 18, and this is what they would be. And we are concerned with 18 degrees of freedom and 95% confidence. So the critical value is 2.1 and negative 2.1. We made the initial assumption that the null hypothesis, the control group, was equal to the experimental group. Our hormone treatment had no impact but it looks like it does. Because what we find is 3.14 is in the red region, so we reject the null hypothesis. 
because our t-statistic fell outside or in the red area. So I set up a null hypothesis, gave you the equation, used some real numbers, and then we decided whether we reject or accept the null hypothesis, and that's pretty much it.